expect any Allied forces to be uh, in this uh, section of the country. This uh, green plane here, they're just uh, in defense, just a few Iraqi infantry. But beyond that was a great desert, and it was imagined that Allied forces could never cross that desert. And now you can see the, the British reconnaissance units slowly creeping up. Do they even see those Iraqi soldiers? So they're trying to run back and alert that the Allies are here. Reconnaissance moves, uh, units. And while they're moving up, they force back to the main force that they've made contact with the Iraqis. So now the Allies know where the enemy force is. Now you see the bombs that they threw. Because as the reconnaissance force is a very lightly armored vehicle, uh, they can't take a hit from the enemy, so they pop smoke and they're retreating back to their main force. But now the Iraqis are alerted. And how was it that the Allies were able to cross that great desert? Well, in 1991, there was a military technology that we now take for granted. It's called GPS, and this was completely unknown uh, to the Iraqis and was still a military secret at the time in 1991, that the Allies had used global positioning systems to cross the desert. So oh, now here comes the T-54 Iraqi tank with that dish. One, one, three. taking a bounce here. I think the C-54 has been immobilized by the CBRTs. Oh, the jet zone! Now we're going to move slowly. Get the closer to uh, the Iraqi country. Watch this. The Republican 
Thank you. 